Welcome back to another Through the Years. And today we got Steve Smith Sr. from the Utah Utes by way of the Carolina Panthers. And of course, now he plays for the Baltimore Ravens. Now, we've done a bunch of these through the years. We've done a couple of basketball. Got LeBron James. Also got Kobe, the Black Mama Bryant. We also did a bunch of football ones. Got Marshawn Lynch, Calvin Johnson, Tom Brady, Peyton Manning, Sean Taylor, Jerry Rice, Ray Lewis, the big boss, Randy Moss. But now it's time to move on to Steve Smith Sr. Now, his rookie season would have been Madden 2002, but unfortunately, he was not in that game. So here we go with Madden 2003. Getting the end around, and Steve Smith is gone. Now, in Madden 03, he was 67 overall. 90 speed, 57 awareness, 86 agility, 88 acceleration, and 69 catch with a 93 kick return rating. So even though his attributes weren't that good, he was the second best receiver on the Carolina Panthers, believe it or not. Musa Muhammad was number one in that 67 overall. Steve Smith was number two, even though on the depth chart, they had him like as the fourth or fifth receiver, which is realistic because even though he had speed, even though he was tough over the middle, the Panthers really didn't give him a chance at receiver until his third year in the league, and he'll even tell you that himself. Now moving on to 2K3, he clocks in at 61 overall. 88 speed, 51 game intelligence, 82 agility, 70 route run, and 60 catch. So even though his attributes are still pretty low, it might have been a good idea to give him some run at receiver in real life because his rookie season, the Panthers went 1-15, man. I mean, what you got to lose at that point, man? Give Steve Smith some run, man. But anyways, you put him in the slot in 2K3, and he is a pretty good slot receiver, even though, again, he doesn't have the best attributes. Now, moving right along into Madden 2004, he gets a big bump in his overall rating, going from 67 to 79 overall, 93 speed, 77 awareness, 92 agility, 93 acceleration, 80 catch, and 93 kick return. You can see him right here going up against the same Lewis Rams. And he takes that thing to the crib. And of course, this was the year that the Panthers and the Rams met in the division round of the playoffs. That game went into double overtime. And Steve Smith caught a slant pass and took it to the crib. It was a beautiful play. Got the Panthers to win. Took them to the NFC Championship game where they will beat the Philadelphia, uh, I'm about to say Philadelphia 76ers, the Philadelphia Eagles to go play the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Now ESPN NFL 2K4, 80 overall, 89 speed, 78 agility, 82 route run, 82 catch. So from 2K3 to 2K4, he gets a 90. 19 point increase as far as his overall is concerned still a good kick returns you can see him get out that tackle saying get off me son and then of course taking that thing up to about the 30 yard line and right here jake DeLong gonna find him over the middle and he makes another nice reception right there the route running was pretty good not the best route runner but you know he could get it done madden 2005 he got his swole on and he got some tattoos for you and in madden 2005 he was 90 overall that's right, 90 overall in what, a two-year, three-year span going from 67 overall all the way up to 90 overall. Now Madden 05, he was 90 overall again, 96 speed, 85 awareness, 96 agility, 97 acceleration, 90 catch, and 89 kick return rating. Flat out monster at receiver. Now in 2K5, he is 92 overall, 89 speed, 78 agility, 92 route run, 94 catch, and he also had a 76 break tackle rating. So they recognize that you, you put him in the slot again versus a linebacker versus safety, he's going to run away from them. And if you put him up against a corner, he's probably going to catch the ball anyway and then break a tackle and do work in the secondary, in the open field. He gets bottled up right here versus the Philadelphia Eagles because they will put like three, four defenders on him. I ain't lying to you. They were hating on this video, okay? But right here, we get him free in space and Sheldon Brown doesn't know what to do with him. Again, little corner out right here and Brown again gets lost. He's there to get the tackle. But nonetheless, though, we get a big time play by Steve Smith, Madden 06 on the PS2. Steve Smith comes in with an 89 overall rate, 96 speed, 80 awareness, 95 agility, 96 acceleration, 90, no, excuse me, 89 catch, and an 86 kick return rating. Now, he did get bumped up in awareness going from PS2 to the 360 to an 85 overall in the awareness category. 
Now moving on to Madden 07, he was 97 overall with 97 speed, 89 awareness, 96 agility, 98 acceleration, 95 catch, 98 juke move, and an 86 kick return rating right here on the punt return. Takes it to the crib, right down the sideline, styling and profiling, gets into the end zone, the crowd is going crazy, he's posing for the frame, he's telling everybody, this is my house. You know, it probably still is this house because Steve Smith seen it. Probably the greatest Panther in Panther history right here. Beats the press coverage. Goes inside. Catches a nice pass. And then he turns up field and takes it to the crib. That 97 overall speed was too much for the Saints defense to handle. The Saints defense look, looking like the Aints from back in the day. Now, moving right along to Madden 2008. He jumps up from 97 overall to 98 overall. 97 speed. 89 awareness. 99 agility, 99 acceleration, 95 catch, 98 juke move, 95 catch in traffic, and a 93 route running rating. He sounds like he's straight out of mutt with those type of ratings, man. He was a beast, though. Now, I used to always compare him to Santana Moss. They both wear 89. They both were short. You know what I mean? But Steve Smith definitely had a better career. Definitely. I mean, he's freaking still playing now. So that just tells you that his career was a little bit better or a lot bit better than my man Santana Moss from the U. Now, Madden 2009, Steve Smith is 98 overall. 97 speed, 88 awareness, 99 agility, 99 acceleration, 95 catch, 98 juke move, 95 catch in traffic, and 93 route running. His numbers were basically identical except for when it came to the awareness rating. Now right here you can see him beating up on Terrence Newman. Oh Terrence Newman, I hate to do it to you man, but you know you saw, son. You know you saw, so Steve Smith about to give you the backhand, get off me. And takes that thing down inside the 20 yard line. Man in 2010, Steve Smith Sr. 97 overall, 97 speed, 94 awareness, 98 agility, 97 acceleration, 93 catch, 98 juke move, 92 catch in traffic, and a 94 route running rating. And then right here, he freaking whoops the DBs like they stole some of the airs on the corners, DBs. They ain't want it. And of course, Rogers Kamardi, get off of him. Get off of him, Rogers Kamardi. We know you don't want to tackle nobody, especially not Steve Smith, boy. Steve Smith, flat out beast. And we all know it, man. Show some respect to Steve Smith. Now, Madden 2011, he was 92 overall with 97 speed, 89 awareness, 96 agility, 95 acceleration, 90 catch, 98 juke move again, 85 catch in traffic, and an 88 route running. So right here, you can say that maybe his numbers started to dip, but the play of Jake DeLome started to dip as well. And even in Madden 11, they have freaking, I believe it's Rob Moore or somebody. Somebody with the last name Moore. I believe he went to, um, where he go to? I believe he went to Oregon State. That was the quarterback in Madden 11. And of course, in Madden 12, you give Steve Smith Cam Newton. And in Madden 2012, his stats dipped even more. 89 overall, 95 speed, 88 awareness, 93 agility, 92 acceleration, 88 catch, 96 juke move, 83 catch in traffic, and a 90 route running rating. Now, like I said, man, they gave him Cam Newton. And Cam Newton's first, what, regular season game, he threw for over 400 yards, set an NFL rookie record for passing a, a passing yards in a single season, in a single game, excuse me, for a rookie. So because of that, you know Steve Smith's ratings had to jump right back up, and that's exactly what they did in Madden 13 after he got Cam. 95 overall for Steve Smith. 96 speed, 93 awareness, 96 agility, 95 acceleration, uh, what's that? Is that is that is that a 45? No, that ain't no 45, fool. That's a 95 for catching, 96 for juking, 88 catch and traffic, and a 97 route running. You know, sometimes I can't speak and sometimes I can't read my own handwriting. But right here, going up against my favorite team, Sam Super 49 he's put it in work. And then Madden 25, his last season as a Carolina Panther, Monday night versus the Patriots, ice up, son. That had to be one of the best sound, sound bites in NFL history to the great Steve Smith. Now, Madden 25 is 90 overall, 92 speed, 94 awareness, 93 agility, 91 acceleration, 91 catch, 93 juke move, 92 catch in traffic, and an 87 route running. Ice up, son, and check out the edit. Oh, yeah, so smooth, baby. You know it's smooth. Lay down, son, and ice up.
Let's go, man. Moving on to Madden 15. I really don't like his face. I really don't judge the faces too much because they're wearing helmets. But, I mean, hey, man. He looks like freaking Steve Smith Sr., if you know what I mean. He looks like an old dude. Anyways, man. Madden 15, 87 overall, 88 speed, 95 awareness, 91 agility, 90, uh, 88, 89, excuse me, acceleration, 88 catch, 93 juke move, 91 catch in traffic, and 85 route running rating Madden 16 where he announces that he's coming back for Madden 17 and I'm so excited Steve Smith senior 93 overall the Madden 16 86 over uh, 86 speed 98 awareness 90 agility 87 acceleration 93 catch 93 juke move 93 catch in traffic and a 92 route running rating for steve smith senior when we add up all of his years from madden 03 2k3 all the way to madden 16 he averages out at an 88 overall rating what will what will be his rating in madden 17 i'm out hope you guys enjoyed it as always i enjoy bringing it to you i hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day i'm gonna see y'all later peace hot sauce